my name is Martina, I'm from uh, Czech Republic and I am uh, currently I'm a uh, EBS coordinator in SCI Alliance. I came to SCI three years ago uh, as an EVS volunteer and uh, instead of uh, 10 months as I was planning to stay, finally I'm still here. In Czech Republic I was living in, uh, in Prague where I was uh, studying university, uh, I was studying uh, business administration and management. Uh, at the same time I was working, I was working in an uh, international company where I was uh, doing uh, financial reporting. I started searching for uh, some alternative ways of uh, spending my free time. I was searching for something more active and I found uh, work camps, I found uh, this international voluntary project. Uh, I learned from a friend of mine and uh, I got really interested in the whole idea and I applied it the same day that I learned about it. I applied for a work camp in, uh, in Finland and I got accepted. The work that we were doing was environmental work. Uh, it was a very different uh, type of work that I was used to before. But what was more important was the interaction with the people from uh, different countries. So after this, I uh, contacted uh, the organization uh, that sent me for this work camp, uh, they are called INEX, and uh, I asked for ways how I can contribute uh, to their activities on a daily basis, and uh, I started participating in, uh, in a group of volunteers that were, they were organizing. Uh, some activities for for other volunteers. Uh, when I was in the last year of university, I decided that uh, after I finish, I would like to uh, have a long-term volunteering experience. And I applied for EVS. I started applying for EVS projects. I had uh, two main uh, criteria for choosing the uh, the EVS project. Uh, the, the more important one was uh, the topic, of course, because I was interested to uh, do something uh, that I was trying to do already in Prague, uh, to organize uh, activities for, for young people, to organize work camps. And the other criterion was the, the country, or not actually the country, but the, the area. I wanted to go to south of Europe in order to enjoy some warm, to, in order to enjoy warm weather for a while. Finally, I was uh, accepted for a project in SCI Hellas in Athens. I started the project in uh, March 2012 and it was a project for 10 months. SCI Hellas is an uh, international organization promoting peace and international solidarity through organizing voluntary project, projects and um, raising awareness campaigns. As CVS volunteer, I was uh, involved in activities of SCI Hellas, mainly by coordinating uh, work camps. And I was also involved in uh, uh, preparation and coordination of a bigger project called uh, Female Reexistence, uh, which was a project about the role of women in the Second World War. It took me some time to, to adjust and to get used to uh, the reality. Actually, I think it took me 10 months. The obstacles that I was facing during the first months were the situations of uh, everyday life. Uh, for example, that I never knew what time the bus will come. People were speaking so loud that I thought that they were arguing all the time. I didn't know the language also. So I, it was, I didn't know what to buy in the supermarket. So all these things made my life uh, quite complicated, of course, at the beginning. After the first uh, weeks that were the most uh, confused ones and the most uh, lonely ones, I met other EVS volunteers and um, I made friends. We helped each other a lot to, to exchange our own experiences and our own uh, problems and our own difficulties to adjust to the local culture. During our free time we, um, we, started, we started going out, we, we went to tabernas, uh, we tried the Greek food, we went for trips. I met also local people. 
I learned, uh, I learned uh, slowly also the language uh, so I could understand at least a bit. I discussed with a lot of people about uh, their culture and my culture. Although many moments of uh, my EVS projects were difficult or challenging, I've, now when I look uh, back I would say that uh, especially those moments were the ones that uh, I remember the most and that they taught me the most and they made me to think a little more about uh, agriculture and uh, about life in general and that made me also to, to want to discover more. So I think it was one of the, one of the reasons why I started considering uh, staying in Greece for, for a bit longer. During my EVS in SEA Hellas, I have also discovered that volunteering is not just uh, meeting new people from different countries and doing some good work together, but that it's much more and it made me uh, reconsider or, and re-evaluate re uh, my general attitude to, to my life. At the end of my project, I got the opportunity to, to stay in SEILS working as an EVS coordinator. And um, it was a very interesting opportunity for me. Since I wanted to think about it very seriously and I wanted to, because it would uh, mean a big change in my life, I decided to go back to my country. I stayed for three months and in those months I have uh, I have uh, been thinking about uh, what I want from my life. Finally, I have decided to accept the work for SEI. I started uh, as EVS coordinator almost uh, two years ago. And step by step, I'm taking more and more uh, responsibilities. So now I'm uh, actually coordinating also the let's say the, the work of the office and the EVS volunteers that we have in the office. In the three years that I am in SEI now, I saw a lot of uh, changes happening and uh, I would say that uh, this is something that mm, keeps me motivated and keeps me active because I see that uh, the things that are being proposed by, by me when I was EVS or by me now or by other EVS volunteers are actually happening. For example, we have managed to uh, start uh, weekly meetings that we call Cafe Neo to Cosmo where we discuss every week a different topic. We have managed to develop uh, uh, non-formal educational sessions for, for schools. So now we are going to schools with our EVS volunteers and we are doing those sessions in English. We have developed uh, an orientation training for our new EVS volunteers where they can learn about uh, what is CVS, they can uh, realize a little bit more their motivation and their expectation from the project and we can also get to know them and they can get to know us. Me personally, I have uh, the opportunity to um, try my skills as a trainer and implement my ideas that I have developed during my, during my EVS times. As you can see, in the last five years, uh, my life has uh, taken totally different uh, direction. From the very business-like environment that I was studying and working in, uh, to the non-profit organization, uh, promoting peace and inter intercultural understanding, where we are doing uh, youth work and social work. Through participation in EVS and in voluntary projects in general, I had the opportunity to meet uh, SCI, to meet a lot of different people, different cultures, to learn uh, about uh, different ideas and opinions. And uh, it has uh, helped me uh, and it has led me actually to make uh, this big change in my life. Yeah, 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 yo,